Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through how to run the resin exposure range finder with a custom value. So the PWS file that's provided is set to start at four seconds, meaning that the thing that prints out that's labeled number one will have four second exposure, two will have five, three will have six, um, and so on. Uh, but say you want to test a resin like Soraya Blue that has much higher exposure times. You're going to want to start at a much higher number than four uh, so that you can see the higher exposure times. Uh, so to do that, you're going to want to download the RERF STL file, which is uh, linked in the description. Um, and this is going to allow you to slice the file yourself. Now the trick is when you open it here, it isn't aligned correctly on the build plate. And the way the RERF works is that it divides the build plate into eight quadrants and exposes each of the eight quadrants differently. Um, so it's important that we line this up correctly because there's obviously two ways that you could line this up on the build plate, uh, depending on how we rotate it here. Uh, so what we can do is we can look at the official RERF file that any cubic has provided and open it up in the preview here um, and we can look at how it's oriented and if we look at it here you can see this round part of the model um, is aligned this way so um, let's go in here and orient this model uh, in the same way so we'll click on the model click rotate uh, let's try rotating at 90 around the z-axis and so I either got it wrong or right uh, so what we can do is actually slice the file let's just call it test and we're gonna see if it lined up so if we click preview here um, we should be able to view it in the preview window here. And as we drag up, we see that the, the circle here matches up with the previous one, where it's on the same uh, side of the build plate, so we're good to go. Uh, now you see here that my normal exposure time is set to 13.5. Um, this is actually the value I found was kind of ideal when doing this Raya Blue resin test, but if I wanted to export this for a different exposure time, um, what I can do is go back in here and change the normal exposure time. If we wanted to start at something like 8, let's say. So since I'm starting it at 8, uh, this one numbered 1 here will get an exposure time of 8 seconds, 2 will get 9 seconds, 3, 10, 4, 11, and so on. Uh, this makes it really easy to run custom versions of this test to uh, get the results you're looking for for any particular resin. Um, and once we're ready to go, uh, we just have to slice the file it's really important. We're going to want to save it in a different folder. Um, so let's just put it in a folder called 8 seconds. And we have to call the file RERF, all capital letters with the underscores, .pws. So we'll slice it, um, save it to a USB drive. Uh, any cubic recommends that you delete everything else off of the USB drive. Um, and then you should be good to go to run custom resin tests on the Photon S.